Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles. We're going to talk about Doctor Who. We're going to talk about Disney. And we're going to talk about how Disney was necessary to save Doctor Who. So the Disney Plus version, the bastardized version of Doctor Who that we have now, you can thank Disney for that because apparently the BBC was going to pull the plug and they're saying that the BBC is going to end. This is uh, this is coming from Russell T. Davies on a podcast that Doctor Who going to Disney was the last ditch effort. So I, I think we're starting to see now what is actually going on here. Of course, Disney, I believe, has has gotten their mitts into Doctor Who. They're turning it into a musical. Um, they're going heavy on the uh, the heavy handed politics, a very current year Disney politics. Now, I do believe that Russell T. Davies, to some degree, uh, does believe the things that you know he's putting into the the new Doctor Who season series, uh, David Tennant and the specials and the shooty got one, all that. But I do think that uh, Disney might have had a a heavier white gloved hand in things. You know, um, it does feel very Disney fied compared to previous seasons of Doctor Who. And he said before that Disney was not going to have a lot of say in what went down with uh, Doctor Who, that they were going to kind of step back. And we know that's not the Disney way. He said that their notes have been incredibly helpful. And I think the reason that Russell T. Davies is being so cooperative with Disney, and I have to wonder if uh, in hindsight we're not going to hear stories. The reason he's being so cooperative with Disney is because the survival of the series literally depends on it. So Disney was bankrolling this. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Disney is, is cutting costs. I don't think they're going to bankroll any more Doctor Who. I think this is probably potentially the end of, of, of New Who. Uh, I, I don't know, guys. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, no woohoos. This is a very serious moment. It's the death of Doctor Who. ComingSoon.net had it. Uh, Deadline had it. Uh, Russell T. Davies is like, yeah, the demise of the BBC is on the way. So we'll go with the ComingSoon.net version. Doctor Who showrunner explains why Disney Plus deal is necessary for the series survival. During a recent interview on the, on the They Like to Watch podcast, They Like to Watch. Wow, okay. Doctor Who showrunner Russell T. Davies addressed the long-running sci-fi series partnership with Disney+, Plus, which began after the streamer acquired the international streaming rights in 2022. Again, very different times. Disney had more money then. Disney's getting pummeled now. They're cutting everything they can cut, but they probably already allocated the money for, for Doctor Who. Davies explains why Doctor Who's Disney Plus deal is vital to the beloved show's future, revealing that he believes... That's home network. The BBC is undoubtedly nearing its end. I had already said in interviews that I think Doctor Who will have to become a co-production. There's no way the BBC is going to fund it. He said, you've also got to look at the long term at the end of the BBC, which is somehow surely undoubtedly on its way in some shape or form. What is Doctor Who going to do then? You have to prepare for that. Well, going to Disney Plus, probably not the smartest thing Netflix probably would have been a better a better option but Disney was throwing mad money at people for uh you know projects they were way overspending and this is a this is a sticking point with what's going on right now with uh, Nelson Peltz trying to get on the board is they're like you guys have not gotten a return on your investment and I'm telling you Disney whatever they're spending on the new Doctor Who specials and series and they look very expensive compared to past episodes uh, in fact, the show, I, to be honest, as, as much as I haven't liked it, the show hasn't looked this good since Matt Smith, the Matt Smith era, right? So they're spending bucks on it, but I guarantee you they're not getting a return on it. So I don't think it's going to last past the uh, the two seasons they have planned. It's just my personal opinion, I could be wrong unless it's like a, a huge smash hit, but considering how it's already split the fandom again, the already fractured fandom, I don't see it being a huge hit. So if you go out to Deadline... Uh, they talk more about it. They're, they're blaming the conservatives. They want to defund the BBC. The It's a Sin in years, in years showrunner Davies has been a passionate supporter of the BBC for decades and a critic of the conservative government, often calling out the government for the way in which it has let the BBC budgets flounder. 
Doctor Who was handed a huge cash injection via the Disney Plus deal, which also saw his dark material studio, Bad Wolf, brought aboard as co-producer alongside BBC Studios, a Davies set condition before he rejoined for his second stint as showrunner. The show will launch simultaneously on the BBC and Disney Plus in May. So he was talking about the uh, director general, I guess, delivering a set piece speech about the future of the corporation, which he hailed the Doctor Who deal for being a good example of how we can work to deliver more value through third party funding while protecting content for UK audiences. I don't think this new Doctor Who is for anybody. I mean, they basically brought David Tennant back just to, to run him into the ground. But yeah, there's been a call to defund the BBC now. I'm not going to. As an American, I'm not going to pretend to know all the ins and outs of the TV license thing. I think it's kind of weird that you basically have to pay a TV tax or you have to pay for TV, even if you don't want to pay for TV or if you're watching it or something. I don't know. Over here, we do have free channels. They're ad supported. The closest thing I can think of over here is probably PBS, uh, which doesn't have commercials per se, but they do run or did run endless telethons for money every other week. It seemed like, like you're a kid watching Sesame Street. Okay. 10 minutes in the Sesame Street, 20 minutes of begging by your local PBS network to get some money. And in exchange, you'll get like a, a cookie monster beanie hat or something, you know? And, and this just went on and on and on. And then Sesame Street's been kind of privatized. And I think that's probably what's going to happen. I mean, I'm sure somebody, even if Disney, drops it, somebody at some point in time will do something with Doctor Who. But I think, honestly, at this point, they've, they've messed things up so badly that they would have to do a hard reset. They would have to reset Doctor Who completely to win audiences back. And even other media outlets are complaining about uh, Doctor Who and how they had a chance to fix things uh, cuz Chibnall definitely fractured the uh, the fan base with the timeless children they had a chance to fix things and um you know they didn't do I'm putting the ad block on here man this is crazy too many ads this is a screen rant even with the ad block on I still get ads look at that um yeah so I think I think it's about done I think it's about done so here's here's uh from screen rant they said, uh, Doctor Who remains the BBC's most valuable and successful property. The corporation is enduring a period of turmoil. There's a period of civil war. Currently, the UK conservative government is deciding whether the TV license fee, which helps fund the BBC's television, radio, online, and educational output, will be scrapped ahead of the expiration of the current Royal Charter Agreement in 2027. The corporation has seen funding cuts leading to the closure of several channels and a pivot to digital first methodology. That's why Disney Plus is getting it first, I guess. As such, Davies' assumption is a likely possibility should the current cabinet remain in power. Though the BBC's closure isn't finalized yet, viewers can already feel Disney's impact on the popular sci-fi show. Yes, alongside the production having received notes, notes for filming since season 14 and 2023's specials, it will see a major release shakeup. Yeah, so they're going to get um, the simultaneous global release. Uh, Doctor Who is no stranger to facing a potential untimely end, as seen with the original show in 1989 getting canceled and the scrapping of the Paul McGann-led U.S. co-produced series in 96. Travesty, he was a fantastic doctor. I did not like that movie very much, but he was, he was a fantastic doctor, and I would have loved to have seen a series with him as the doctor. However, throughout each of these situations, the BBC would still be somewhat, or the BBC would still somewhat guarantee the series would live on through rebroadcasts, expanded media, and home releases. While only time will tell what Disney's full impact could be on the series, it's clear the company sees Doctor Who as an asset and worthy of potential exploitation. I mean, expansion. No, I I think that um, it's over after this. I, I again, this is just this is just a hunch because I I I do not see Disney in the state that it's in right now. It's contracting. I don't see them throwing more money at a property they don't own and I don't see them buying Doctor Who and I don't see the the BBC selling Doctor Who. So, I think Disney's going to be like, "Yeah, we got, you know, our 2 years or whatever that they they agreed to bankroll and then that's it." And then they're done. And then somebody else might come along. Maybe Netflix would come along. But like I said, for Doctor Who to return to its former glory, um, they're, they're going to have to retcon 
a lot of shit. <laughs> Actually, just I would just hit the reset button and just be like, yep, we're back at doctor number one. And doctor number one is, is uh, a man and uh, he's a man in a box and he's he's flying around the universe in a time traveling box and uh, let's just kind of i don't know sidestep it or just pretend that like the last couple of years didn't happen they could do that too they've done it with movies before i mean i've seen it in multiple cases i mean look at uh, superman returns they basically stepped over superman three and four and they said no this is a sequel of superman two so you bring doctor who back and uh you just say yeah um, we're going to regenerate from Peter Capaldi and uh, continue on and pretend the last couple of seasons just never happened. It was, you know, because of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff that was like an alternate universe or something. It never, it never happened. Or we just never speak of it. Just like how the doctor was supposed to be half human in the Fox reboot. You just, you just never bring it up again. Never bring up the timeless child again. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later.